أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hi my name is Rahul Bhatia I'm an engineer by profession I have a question in Quran uh, verse 22 ayat 47 it says verily a day in the sight of the lord is like a thousand years of your reckoning also in uh, Quran 32 ayat number 5 it says to him on a day the space whereof will be a thousand years of your reckoning and in Quran 70 uh, ayat number 4 it says the angels and the spirit ascend unto him in a day the measure whereof is 50000 years so which one the measure of a day is 1000 years or 50000 years and in the sight of allah but the rahul is an in correct yeah i think the same person was yesterday about the six days and eight days yes mashallah i love you brother thank you i love you too <laughs> these as i told you on the internet all these are common questions you don't have to be a scholar to know all these things go on the internet on the anti islamic site and you'll get hundreds i am sure brother rahul have you read the full quran brother rahul uh, no not full yeah, no. i know that i'm afraid that i'm going to get more questions <laughs> sorry i'm afraid that i've got to get more questions so i want no. to solve these out the first the thing is that see if you want to know the truth yeah. first you have to read the direct source if yeah. i want to know christianity and if i read the anti christian books then i'll become biased so my request to you brother rahul is first go to the good side read the quran then don't ask me two question ask me 200 yeah inshallah i'll reply even Maybe. now i'll reply okay but i being in the field of dawa i realize that people go to the anti islamic sites first and they see the negative point they get convinced and they against islam if you want to know islam go to the good side don't go to sites like answering islam the thing no. is sir, i can actually uh, give and answer a, question no problem no, no the point is i can actually say speak for half an hour in favor of islam as well no, so no. i'm not un, i'm totally unbiased I give the reply. This is all common for me. It's nothing yeah. new. Yeah. This has been asked to me several times before. I can give reference to everything, mashallah. The brother has a question that two places in the Quran, where Allah says that one day in the sight of Allah is equal to thousand years, and one place in Surah Maarij, chapter number seventy, verse number four, that one day in the sight of Allah is equal to fifty thousand years. So isn't there contradiction? Like one place it says thousand years, other places it says that fifty thousand years. In Arabic, the word used is yom. The word used is yom. Yom. Now, yom has got two meanings. One of the meanings is day. Day, day, like a twenty-fourth day. The other meaning is a period, epoch. Can be any number of years or whatever it is. So, one meaning of yom is day. The other meaning is a period. So, now if you read it correctly, that one verse says that for the up years to go up to allah subhanahu wa taala it will take 1000 years of your reckoning it will take one day one period which is equal to 1000 years of your reckoning the other verse says in surah maari chapter 70 verse number 4 that for the angels to ascend unto allah subhanahu wa taala it will take a period of one period which is equal to 50000 years for example if i tell you that for me to travel from dubai to abu dhabi takes one hour and for me to travel from dubai to say usa in a very slow plane will take me 50 hours the period taken for me to travel from dubai to abu dhabi is one hour the period taken for me to travel from dubai to new york is 50 hours it is not a contradiction because both the things are different so here again when allah says about the up years to travel it's a different time period and for the angels to go to allah subhanahu wa taala it's a different time period it's not a contradiction there are two different things therefore the time periods are different so if you translate day as 24 hours then there's a contradiction if you translate day as a period like allah says he has created the universe in 6 days in 6 ayams it cannot be 6 24 hours day then there's a contradiction it is 6 periods 6 epochs we scientists don't have any objection to so here to yom is a period and all these answers you can go to my website irf.net www.irf.net 
and inshallah most of these answers are there hope that answers the question okay. so so basically it refers to two different things that's right excellent okay and 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 the word uh, where it's uh, the, you were saying there are two different words yeah one is day in arabic and the no, other one has got two meanings but, okay. one meaning is 24 day there is a epoch or a and, period and is this the word yom has been used in both the way? same 100% percent same same word has yes. been used to refer to a day which all the three verses which you have quoted surah hajj also surah maharij also including when allah says they have created the earth and the heaven in six days the same yom is used but the plural is ayam same in surah fusilat chapter number 41 you may have forgotten the reference verse number 9 to 12 the same ayam is used right so it, and and that word can mean a day and or or it can mean a period but here it only means a period an epoch Right, and 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 a period can uh, can be any period way. can be one hour, can be ten hours, can be ten years, one thousand years, one million years, one billion years. And and the two things are actually referring to two different things. So that's it right. Can be. Excellent. Hope Thank you. Hope Thank you are convinced. I am. I'm going uh, at the back for my next turn. Thank you. In the Quran 96, chapter number two, it says, "Created man out of a mere clot of congealed blood." I was uh, listening to uh, the Hindi translation, Urdu translation of this as well, a few days ago, and it did say that Khun ki boon se, I don't boon usse banaya. Now we know that, uh, like this, this is common knowledge now that it's that we're actually not born from a, you know, drop of blood. It's a drop of semen.